Welcome back to the Chunk Picker. Our last unlock was Port Sarin. We have defeated that. 11 out of 11 tasks. Had to kill a couple new NPCs, finish our first quest, get an adamant battle axe from Bob's battle axe shop. 30 attack to wield that adamant weapon, which we already had. 15 fishing to catch raw anchovies, which we had from the evil Bob randoms. Level 55 cooking to bake anchovy pizzas. I think we needed seven levels. We cooked stews and banked them in the bank deposit box that's here on the docks to get to 55. And then we used some of those anchovy pizzas to kill about another thousand hobgoblins. And last but not least, level 59 magic to cast Fire Blast. Not too bad at all. And now we have access to some great resources like the Rune Shop, the Food Shop, another range jewelry shop, and the docks. Almost completely, but uh, we are missing this little, little arm down here. So to go over what is next, you all already know what this means. We've gone over this a bunch. The biggest requirement is actually removed from this chunk because we also just completed it, which was to cast, what is it called already? I already forgot, Fire Blast. So now it would actually just be finishing some drop tables and there's actually a decent amount of gear upgrades here including mithril square shield black kite shield not sure which of those is better so we'd have to check that out let's see what else probably adamant Battle Axe would still be our best in slot weapon by the end of this. But if we do get the chunk, we probably would start our range training a little bit on the pirates, which are the first NPC that we would have to kill the lowest level. And or actually I think the muggers are lower. And yeah, there's a few items here that we don't have access to. One almost scary one is Mithril Ore. Um, a lot of you might be thinking that would mean we would need to craft a mithril plate body, but we still don't have access to coal, luckily, in any capacity, and I'm not keen on getting access to it anytime soon, for obvious reasons, because we would have to continue to superheat our way. So, not into that. Chunk number two is the easiest. We would have to start a quest? Is this started? Speak to Captain Talk. Isn't this the one we already started? Let's look. No, that's Pirate's Treasure. Okay. So we would start another quest here. Kill a chicken, kill a duck, kill a highwayman. Get some chicken feathers, which is a 100... Oh, a 1 in 4 drop, I guess. So this chunk would be super easy. I don't think there's really anything in here that benefits us right now. That's a, is that a churn? I'm not even sure what that is, to be honest with you. But most of this stuff doesn't apply to us right now. Number three, the Falador Chunk. We would have to craft a Sapphire Amulet, which would... Um, force us to start our crafting grind. We already have the smithing level required to do gold bars, so we would just need to be able to cut a sapphire that we can buy from this gem shop and then make the necklace. I don't know the level off the top of my head, but I will put it on the screen in the future. We would also have to start the knight's sword and then the rest of this is just killing random NPCs that are in the chunk. And there's the White Knights drop tables that we would have to complete. Each of them have the same drop table, but you can kill them 
either levels 36, 38, 39, or 42, and the drop rates just change a little bit, depending on which level you choose. Uh, Amulet of Magic, which we already have. I guess I didn't realize for some reason that we have that jewelry shop there or because they're not stocked it doesn't count them um, but yeah we'd be able to just check that off because we already got it and there's not really any gear upgrades here everything that the white knights drop is steel we'd be able to grab another steel med helm i guess uh, if you want to call that a gear upgrade but the biggest bonus to this is we would have access to our first bank just barely we would be able to to sneak into this bank, which would be sweet. Finally be able to store items, we'd be able to get the stews and the cosmic runes that we've been storing. Uh, I'm not sure if this general store sells anything unique or what shields are available in this shop. So we might have a little bit of a gear upgrade there, um, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. And then, yeah, starting a quest, nothing super exciting. I don't think making this chunk unlockable makes any sense because there isn't anything that we can't access from this chunk that we could access here until we're a member and going across the shortcut. So I think we're going to leave this one locked because, yeah, technically we can get around here and we can get up here so we could skirt around. but it would not only give us access to the backside of these buildings and no new content we wouldn't be able to get in the gem shop or the bank so i don't see any reason to put this one here um available for the chunk roll until we are a member and then because of this boat right here we do actually have access to get over to these docks which i just showed you so this chunk here on karamja is available musa point the biggest task here would be to catch a raw swordfish because there is a fishing spot up here and we have access to a crab pot at the fishing store here and it looks like we would get be able to finish pirate's treasure i believe yeah retrieve the rum and give it to frank so that would be finishing pirate's treasure so we'd get to start and not start we get to finish the quest quest that we just started in that last chunk another general store another pub another water source there are also banana trees here if that gets anyone excited but i can't see any use for them that chunk not too exciting not a whole lot to do either mostly would just be the fishing grind this chunk because of this dungeon which i believe you can get into before you do dragon slayer but i'm not totally sure on that either so that'll be something to look into for the future but yeah, this would be kind of a fun chunk, force us to use the boat and start unlocking some area off of, some chunks off of the main content. Main continent, wow, words. So those are the options. Those are what we're rolling for. If I had to choose a chunk, I almost just kind of want to get the Asgardian Ice Dungeon over with. I know it's going to happen eventually. And now I feel well equipped enough to do it, so I wouldn't mind getting that. I also wouldn't mind getting Falador so that we can get a bank. It does get us closer to this adamant grind that I'm not interested in doing, but because we would have a bank and a furnace, uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to unlock Falador. It would be a little bit of a safety net. Um, what I don't want is chunk number two because I don't want, as I've mentioned, to unlock this chunk before I have Falador unlocked because then I would have to do mining all the way up to Adamant Plate Body on Nature Runes just like we've been doing, which would be absolute pain and suffering. I am just now realizing there's a bank also in this chunk, which is nice, but no furnace, and that's the real killer here. We would have, in this dungeon, there's coal and adamant and iron, so we'd have access to a better mine, And but I don't believe there would be any improved source of nature runes, so it would not be fun. 
that's another reason I don't mind getting Asgardian Ice Dungeon right now, because there is a better nature rune drop from one of these NPCs. I can't remember off the top of my head, but one of them drops nature runes pretty consistently, and I think in quantities of six. So if for some reason we were to get two and then this mining chunk, I'd love to at least have this first, but ideally Valor. But enough talking, it is time to see what chunk we are moving to next. No Southern Felidor farm, please. Not interested. The Asgardian Ice Dungeon, all right. Like I said, not too sad about that one. 29 tasks. They are all best in slot and drop. Best in slot, drop, and kill NPC tasks. Nothing crazy here. Looks like we would have a Mithril Mace as our best in slot weapon. What is that best in slot for? Mithril Mace would be best for attack or melee. That would be better than the Adamant Battle Axe. Interesting. Must have a higher um, attack rate. And it looks like ranged shield. I need the Mithril Square shield. And then ranged or tank and melee, I need the black kite shield. So gonna have to get those drops anyway and yeah there is the full list of things we need to acquire I think some things are already checked off this list because I have acquired them from other monsters and I am not required to get the same drop from multiple different monsters if that makes sense so be for example because the Hobgoblins dropped nature runes, and there's another NPC in here that drops nature runes, but it's not on this list because I've already I already have a nature rune drop acquired. So, yeah, all right, well, let's go see what there is to find in the Asgardian Ice Dungeon, and I guess we have this jail too. Welcome, friends, to the Asgarnian Ice Dungeon. In free-to-play, there are only 10 NPCs above the level 50 that are not bosses, and this forgotten, creepy little dungeon happens to be home to two of them. Say hello to my toughest drop tables yet, the Ice Warrior and the Ice Giant. The Hobgoblin, which you're all well familiar with thanks to this series, has a max hit of 3, the Ice Warrior and the Ice Giant have a max hit of 6 and 7, respectively. And when your best in slot gear looks like this, it's safe to say they're going to be hitting consistently. On the bright side, their drop tables aren't too ludicrous, and I have a better source of food after unlocking Port Sarah in the last chunk. Before we dive right down into the dungeon, let's do some exploring of the overworld and go over the chunk tasks. We got our finest gear on to come unlock this chunk that we've been staring at for a very long time now. Forgot kind of that we have access to this jail now. I don't believe there's really every, anything for us to do in here. Hey, it's future me here to confirm what past me was suspecting. It is true. There is nothing useful to do in this jail. I went around and talked to every NPC, and I explored every floor, and the only thing I came across was this amusing conversation dialogue. Halt. Who goes there? I'm F2 Chunk Flip the Mighty. Mighty? You look like another of those silly adventurers who thinks they're the bee's knees just because they've done a few quests. Well it sounds better than sitting on the rooftop all day looking at trees. I'll have you know it's a very important job guarding this jail. If anyone comes sneaking in here to mess around with the prisoners the lads downstairs will make mincemeat of them, and I'll be here to pick them off if they try to escape. You mean people aren't meant to be able to shoot the prisoners in the cells? Yes, that's right. Okay. 
It's been nice talking to you. Honestly, whoever wrote this dialogue at Jagex needs to get a raise. This was grade A entertainment. As far as chunk tasks are concerned, there are three main ones for best in slot. We need to get a hold of the Black Kite Shield, Mithril Square Shield, and the Mithril Mace. We're getting every unique drop and killing every monster. There are 26 other tasks. We'll just look at those later on the chunk picker. And finally, welcome to the Asgardian Ice Dungeon. There are four or five different NPCs down here. I'll go ahead and put their drop tables on the screen now. We have these muggers, pirates. I believe there are more hobgoblins. Yep, there's one. And then down here, we have ice warriors and ice giants somewhere. Oh, these are still hostile to me. That's fun. And there's this blur right or I'll have to see what level you have to be to mine that. I probably have to do that. And you can't go in there without agility, which is a member skill, so we don't have access to that. What is this tunnel? Oh, it's another agility tunnel. Be a member. Well, how we get to the Grand Exchange? So yeah, this is where I'll be spending the majority of my time for this joke. And we do get access to a few useful items down here and some better drop rates. So, all things considered, good. And if you thought we were going to start off this chunk doing anything other than killing hobgoblins, well, you've not been paying attention. It's all I like to do. No, just kidding. We don't even have to kill one. I just thought that would be a funny joke. We are going to go over to the Ice Warriors. They drop... Um, the Mithril... Mithril Mace at a rate of 1 and 128. Uh, but the Mithril Mace attacks once every 6... Excuse me. Once every 4 ticks compared to the Adamant Battle Axe, which attacks once every 6 ticks. So it will be a huge DPS upgrade for us to get the... Wow, this dude is shredding me. Um, yeah, it'll be a, a pretty big DPS upgrade for me to get the Mithril Mace. So I'm going to try and bust this out first to make the rest of these grinds a little quicker. Let's see what our first one yields us. I feel like I might actually need to be praying against melee with these guys. I didn't realize they were going to shred so hard. We can hit really hard, but yeah, attack rate is just so slow, which is what we're trying to boost by getting the Mithril Mace. Oh, I cannot get this timing down. Keeping late. Come on, dude, we're on accurate. You gotta hit better than this. He must have pretty good uh, defensive stats. I didn't take a look at that, but he is pretty resistant to our hits here. But we do knock him out eventually for five whole coins! Holy crap! What a tremendous drop. That was not worth it at all. So, let's get to it, see what we can get. For those of you who may have thought it was a waste of time burying all those hobgoblin bones, this is exactly why I did it, because Protect from Melee is coming in handy right now. Oh snap! There it is, the Mithril Mace. Let's grab this thing and run away. So I don't get shredded unnecessarily. Look at this bad upgrade. Just got our handy mithril mace from the ice warriors and took on a few ice giants finally. So this won't get us a prayer level, but it is the first big bones buried on the account. We are going to go ahead and high alk the Addy Battle Axe. You get a little bit more gold than selling it and the mithril mace is off to a good start and that's what we're going to use against the ice giants so goodbye Addy battle axe obviously we can always just buy it again if we need it absolute banger of a ice giant run here we are only at kc26 and we just got Addy arrows death runes black kite shield and Mithril Square Shield and Mithril Ore all in the same run. I believe the 
Mithril Square Shield is actually a gear. Sorry. The Black Square Shield is actually a gear upgrade for us. I'm not sure what really the difference is. It looks like Square Shields give you magic and range. And then a little bit of melee. And the Kite Shield here gives you all melee. Which is what we're up against right now. So looks like the Kite Shield it will be a little bit better for us. Let's look. What? I'm having trouble remembering what Ice Giant's attack method is. It looks like they are Slash. So if we compare these, we're sitting at 80, plus 87 right now, plus 87 on the Mithril Square Shield. So yeah, this is a nine point upgrade for us, which is sweet. Either way, um, I think the black looks cooler and don't see any use for magic or range defense for a while. So we're gonna stick with this for now. Uh, I'm sure we'll get another Mithril Square Shield, although that's a tough drop rate, 1 in 128. So maybe I'll hang on to that because, yeah, we're uh, quickly checking off the list here. So we might get really lucky at Ice Giants and not have to kill too many, which would be great. Although, I do love burying the big bones, 15 prayer XP per, just feels good. Oh, hey there. And they actually do have some decent coin drops as well, so we are up to a 6k cash stack again. Let's see what this dude wants to give us. If you want to give me a gold bar, I will very happily alk it. So... Nope, we got a gold necklace, and that's probably not worth alking. 270 actually, you know what? Yep, we're gonna do it. So a little bit more cash in the pocket. Yeah, coming along nicely, feeling good about this grind, enjoying it. I'm actually gonna go over right now, before I forget, and we are gonna finally pick up that bow because I thought of the perfect way to start range training. Since I am coming out of the dungeon, well, that sounds super fun. Coming out of the dungeon and, uh, short bow, long bow, we'll take the shorty. And let's wield that and take everything off because I'm sure this all has negative effects. So yeah, plus 14 range. Um, yeah, coming out of the dungeon, instead of running up to cows, I am actually just refueling here on the giant rats because it's easier. So this would be a good way to get the range training started. It's not going to get us anywhere crazy, but why not get it started since we did all that lamping might as well try to get our first couple levels out of the way and yeah if you can see in the background here we have this tantalizing banana that is one of the one and one hundred and one out of 128 chance drops that we have to get from the ice giants in the asgardian ice dungeon and there's just one sitting over there but we can't get into that room it's locked behind a quest so we'll have to earn it There it is, ranged level 6. Just a little fast forwarding, and there we are. Forgot, for some reason in my mind, that was going to be level 2. Forgot that we did the lamping to get to the oak short bow, and probably the reason we're not just splashing 500 times in a row. So yeah, this will be a nice way to accumulate some somewhat passive range XP while we do the rest of our grinds. Level incoming, right off the bat, 56 cooking. Gotta keep myself alive down in this dangerous dungeon, and there's no better way to do it than eating rat meat. The trickiest part of this whole grind is dodging the ice warriors because they are aggroed on me, which is very unfortunate. I'm trying to get the ice giants isolated, and it can be kind of tricky. Gotta kind of 
kite them around these rocks, but there's so many of them, it can be really hard to get the ice giants one-on-one. -on -one. But, I at least get a level out of it. It popped up quickly and is gone, but that was level 68 attack. Pretty beastly. As you can see here, I am at the goblin spawn. They're all swarming around, and the reason we are here is for the beginner clue scroll. It is a side goal of mine to open up one in the near future. Right now, the only step that we can complete is the one in Port Serum in the axe shop. Uh, but there are a couple other steps, I believe, that we can complete in Falador, so only one chunk away. So if I can't get one with just these chunks, then I think I'll make it my goal to complete at least one when I do get access to the Falador chunk. Partially just to say that I did it, and also partially because there's a lot of rewards that would be really beneficial for us right now, specifically any of the magic staffs, which I don't see us getting access to by any other means in the near future. And then also there's the full black gear drop table, so depending on when we get it, we could get a pretty big gear upgrade for the account. Uh, specifically, obviously, helmet and legs. I think we are set on weapon and shield for now, and chest plate. So yeah, here's the first one I'm getting. Let's see if it happens to be the one nearby. Of course not. I want to take time to thank you all again for another huge month in the channel's history. I genuinely appreciate each and every one of you, and if you've been watching along and you haven't subscribed yet, please take the time to go ahead and hit that button. But that's enough chit chat, let's start making some real progress. Just minding my own business, killing ice giants. We are at kill count 260. Woo! Officially over double the drop rate for this stupid banana. The least useful drop on the table. That's right, friends. We are still in the Asgardian ice dungeon hunting bananas. The least useful drop ever. But we just have to get it to complete the drop table, as you know. If you look at the loot tracker here, we are at kill 333. So coming up on three times dry. For perspective, the drop table that I need to hit for the banana only has three items on it. And that is mithril ore, jug of wine, and a banana. And as you can see, I have four jugs of wine and mithril ore. Uh, it's just the banana that's being difficult. I actually just got two jugs of wine in this trip alone, which is frustrating and nice at the same time because they heal 11 hit points, so it extends my trip. Don't have to deal with the aggression timer for a little bit longer, but it's obviously frustrating because that could have been the banana and then we'd be done. And yeah, starting to get over this. But for now, I will be here slapping these ice giants and working our way towards 70 attack. Let's hope that there's not another video coming up soon talking about how I'm three times dry. Let's go! We got the banana! Woo! 
358, so close to three times dry. Let's pick this thing up. Woo! One more kill for good measure. It is about freaking time. Just wanted to highlight this clip real quick. I skipped over it during the montage, but I talk about how I've been hunting beginner clue scrolls, and so far I've had a chance at turning two of them in. With my current chunks, that only gives me a 0.3% chance of actually getting a casket, but it's something I want to do, so I've been chasing it, and unfortunately, this is another fail. You may ask yourself, why are we... Okay. All right, bro. Gonna ruin the clip like that? I see. Can you please move? Please. Thank you. You may ask yourself why we're standing here creeping in this window, and it is because our last task is to murder the rude person who actually just ruined our clip, the Black Knight. He is in the Port Sarin Jail here, which I haven't shown you up until this point because there is nothing new for us here, but it is a somewhat viable way to train magic, is to come here and kill these guys that are locked up in the cells because they can't attack back. And obviously you know we have to kill one of every NPC in our chunks to complete all of our goals. Um, so we will have to take down one of these guys with magic or ranged. They are weak to magic so we're gonna go that route. Let's throw the magic gear on. Take the melee gear off and that should be enough we'll use fire blast because we can and we have the runes what is that we can't reach that maybe you can't reach that well you're gonna have to be able to reach it my friend there we go don't know what that's all about but um lucky for us i guess because he's locked up in this jail here he just has one item on the drop table, it's a 100% bone drop. And I guess, I've never thought about this. Uh, if he had actually a full drop table, I guess we'd have to get law runes and telegram all of these things. Um, but lucky for us, we don't have to do that. The mugger's already, there's another mugger outside of the jail. Or excuse me, the muggers, we um, finish their drop table in the Asgardian Ice Dungeon. Goblins, obviously that was episode one. Pirates, also in the dungeon. And then also thieves are outside here too. So we just had to get the one. And that is the Asgardian Ice Dungeon chunk done. Pretty epic chunk, if I'm honest. The banana was ridiculous. Took 359 KC for us to get, even though it is a 1 and 128 drop, so it went pretty dry there. But as you can see, we hit everything else pretty nice, nicely, and we made a decent bit of cash along the way because each of these sells for almost a thousand, same as these. And these Addy arrows were worth 6k, so yeah, a little bit of money in the bank that kept the death rune count up. Got the cash deck over 10k. And we are leaving here with a little bit of a gear upgrade. Obviously, we had all this magic equipment, but the Mithril Mace is the new best in slot. The Black Kite Shield is also a new best in slot. So we're a little more beefy now and ready to go. Still need to upgrade these legs and this helmet. Um, probably not going to happen in the next chunk, but it'll be on the list. And last but not least, we're gonna eat this stupid banana that causes us all this heartache. I want everyone to watch this. Blah, 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 blah. That's right, banana. I hunted for you for way too long just to eat you and gain zero health because I was already full. Yeah, just out of spite, we ate it. Also, leaving with the upgraded Willow Longbow because we got ourselves to 20 ranged, so a little bit of a DPS upgrade for our ranged. And full of food, decent amount of runes, decent amount of money, and you know the drill. The next thing to do is to 
roll a new chunk. So I will see you at the chunk bed.